Hello and welcome back. This is Greg French. Uh, today we're going to talk about PowerShell scripting, just the basics, just to kind of get you started. Uh, it's a very powerful uh, scripting uh, tool. Uh, you can do just about anything in Windows with PowerShell. Administrators, it's, it's a must to uh, learn how to use it because you can do a lot of things very, very quickly. Let's get started. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, go down to your Start button. This is for Windows 7. Go down to the Start button. Uh, click on the Start button. You'll see the little box open up down here. Type in Power and you'll see some options come up here. Uh, under the Windows uh, PowerShell ISC, I want you to right click on that and then select Run as Administrator. Uh, PowerShell is so powerful, uh, we need to run it as Administrator, otherwise it, it won't run. We won't uh, execute anything. So uh, there's a little warning. You go ahead and click uh, Yes. And uh, this box opens up. Uh, down below here you'll uh, see some of the commands that we can write in. You'll also see how things are executing. Up in here is where we actually write the scripts in this top pane. Uh, first of all we're going to have to uh, type in set execution policy remote sign. So in this box down here I want you to type in set execution policy uh, space remote signed and then go ahead and uh, press enter to run that. Uh, there's a little warning box that comes up. The execution policy helps protect you from scripts that you do not uh, trust. Changing the execution policy might expose you to the security risks uh, described in the About Execution Policies uh, help topic. Uh, and then it says, do you want to change the execution policy? Now, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click yes. Uh, there is a lot of security risks involved with this. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm running it in uh, VMware Player as an image. Uh, to prevent uh, causing problems to my uh, my home or my operating system on my computer. So if you're not familiar with running images or running VMware Player, there's another uh, YouTube in how to do that. So what I've done is I've set up an image uh, or a, it's called a machine, a VMware machine, and it's actually a, a Windows 7 operating system that's running uh, in VMware Player. gives you kind of a sandbox to work with so you're not going to end up hurting your operating system. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes. Uh, you can see uh, there's a little note here uh, that it ran and uh, we've uh, changed the execution policy. That means we can start running scripts now. And the reason that it gives you that warning is viruses uh, use the scripting to, to make changes to your computer. Uh, so you you got to be careful in turning this on because if you do get infected with a virus, it could use this against you. Uh, we're going to write a script. Uh, now these scripts were taken off the internet, and there's a lot of resources on the internet, and I'll discuss that in a later uh, later page on this. But right now, this is the script down below here. This up here just is um, notation information, but it's you're going to go to the C drive, Windows, System 32, and, and it's it's using a cmd.exe, so it's a command. Uh, that is being executed and what it's doing is taking the uh, user account and it's disabling it by uh, this little command here active no so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, run this uh, first we're gonna save it and the uh, reason we need to save it is so that later we could execute these again without having to type them so go ahead and save it uh, go, go up here to file save as uh, this will open up. I'm going to just save it in my documents. I'm going to give it a name, disable guest account, and then go ahead and save. Uh, I'm going to check my guest account. You can see that the guest account is on uh, and active. And then I'm going to go ahead and run the script. Now, running the script, there's a little green arrow up here uh, pointing to the right. Go ahead and click on that, and that'll start running the script. If the script runs successfully, you'll get this mass message, the command completed successfully. If it doesn't run successfully, you'll get a lot of red in here, and it'll be trying to uh, tell you what the errors were. So if everything goes okay, it should uh, run successfully. Then you can go back and check your guest, guest account, and you can see that it's off now. So that was a very simple way of turning that guest account off, simple and quick. Uh, Next one I'm going to run is a set the firewall on. Now, if the firewall for some reason got turned off, you can use this little script to turn it back on without having to actually go in. Now, if you notice, uh, this command starts off with N-E-T-S-H. So this is some kind of a net shell, 
that uh, is another way of running scripts inside of Windows along with the command.exe. And this time we're going to go firewall set up mode, mode equals enable. And then we're going to go ahead and save this script along with uh, the first one. Uh, you notice that right now in this uh, operating system the firewall is off. You got some red lines here indicating that uh, there's a concern, so it's off. We're going to go ahead and run the script again by uh, clicking on that green button up there. And you can notice that this has run successfully. So we should be able to go to our firewall page and see that it's, it's actually on now. So we've run two scripts now, uh, one for the guest account and one for the firewall. You can see you could string a lot of these together and do a lot of commands very, very quickly. Some resources. Uh, again, Google is a good resource for finding scripts. There's a lot of scripts that have already been made and people are sharing them. One way of finding them is GitHub. GitHub is a repository of a lot of different uh, software and scripts. It's a great place to find things. Also, Reddit uh, is another one. Uh, it's a blog or conference, and there's a lot of information on there about what people have been doing with scripts, and they share information, too, about writing scripts. Uh, so there's a lot of good resources. Uh, hope this uh, helps you get started with uh, PowerShell. Great tool. Very, very powerful. Thank you very much. See you next time.